Digital sticker bundles are huge sellers on Etsy right now, but creating each of them from scratch, total time suck. So I asked myself, how can I make the system faster, smarter, and repeatable? I wanted to be able to drag and drop images into sticker frames, quickly switch out the colors and fonts, and then create multiple bundles without starting from zero. Now I can make 10 plus sticker bundles in a weekend. Everything's in Canva, everything's customizable, and it looks like I spent way more time than I did. So I turned it into a product, a 300 template Canva sticker bundle made for those who wanna work faster. Let me walk you through how easy it is to create stickers through this set. And if you're interested, I left the link of the template down below if you wanna follow along and create your own sticker set that's fast. Okay, so this is what the sticker set looks like in Canva. All you have to do is save this out as a PNG and upload it to Gnotes, which I'll show you how to do in the end of this video. Okay, so this is what my template pack looks like in Canva. These are all individual frames, which means you could easily take any type of flat PNG or JPEG image, click and drag it over to the frame, and as you can see, it instantly replaces that frame placeholder with the background image or with the graphic. And if you want to adjust the position of the image, you would just double click the actual image, the background, and adjust it as needed. So each particular sticker is grouped, but you could easily update all of the fonts and the colors within a few clicks. So I'm going to select the font right here. You could always ungroup it if you like. So I'm using Playfair Display. And just keep in mind when you do update fonts that some fonts might be bigger than others, so you might have to adjust it. So I'm actually going to select Leak Spartan and then I'm going to click change all. And then we have this really nice script font called Moon Time. And then for our regular sans serif fonts, we have Canva Sans. So I'm going to leave those as is, but just change this main font. Okay, so now that we have some of the fonts updated, we want to go ahead and find some really good background images. All right, so I'm actually going to do a search under elements for pink background. And then you're going to want to select photos because you can't actually use graphics in frames. It will only attach using photos, which are JPEGs and PNGs. So I'm going to select this image right here, which is really nice. And I want to pick something that's not too busy, not too crazy. And if it's too busy, it might be hard to read the font. All right, so I'm going to quickly drag and drop this particular image into each frame. So a little tip to do that quickly is to hold option on your keyboard, then click and drag the image and it automatically creates a duplicate. And then I'm going to hover over the frame and it will attach itself directly to that frame. So let's do it again. Hold option on your keyboard and then click and drag. So I'm going to do that to each frame. So this is just a really quick way to add the image to that frame background. So I'm going to speed this up here a bit. So you can go ahead and add additional backgrounds to your stickers if you like, but I'm going to show you a really quick way to kind of update the colors without having to use several different backgrounds. It's just kind of a time saver similar to this template system. And if you have a hard time actually having it click to the frame, you could just zoom in a bit and it should easily stick to that frame. Or you could just ungroup the sticker. And a little tip to kind of mix it up a bit, I'll select the image and then I'll go under edit. And then under filters, click see all. And if you actually select a filter, it slightly changes the color. And I'm going to apply that to just a few of them. So I'm going to click on this little copy style while this is still selected. And then click and drag over some. Click copy style, make sure this is selected. So this way you could kind of mix up the colors a bit without actually having to go in and find additional images. And then I'm also going to find an orange version like this. And then again, I'm going to click copy style and apply that to some of the other ones. So in less than five minutes, I was able to create all of these individual stickers with different types of colors super quickly. Let's go to the next page and apply these same colors. Okay, so I'm gonna select that same image again and then keep it right here so we have this copy and then hold option while it's selected and just keep holding down option. So this way we produce additional copies. 
So I applied that same copy style to each of them. I just selected certain stickers on here and then under edit, I changed the filter. Now with this template, we have a few of these really cute Polaroids. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this background to all of the designs. Okay, so I applied the background and the color variations to each of these. So for the Polaroids, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just going to find kind of like a generic setting of the desert, or you could look for a generic vacation setting. And then under memories, I'm gonna change this to vacation. All right, so I added some really good generic vacation photos to these Polaroids that someone could use in their planner. So now we already have these three sets that are really cohesive in terms of the backgrounds. And since we used a background that's not super busy and it's also very light, it's definitely legible. And then I'm going to apply the same type of designs to the remaining pages. So these particular frames have that digital planner tape that a lot of people use. I found this really great crumpled piece of paper that I'm actually going to use for the tape. So it kind of gives a really interesting effect. All right, so I applied those styles to the remaining pages. So now we have a really nice cohesive set of digital stickers that we could sell. So the next thing we wanna do is download these as individual PNGs. So in the corner, go to share, download, and make sure you have PNG selected. So you will need Canva Pro in order to download transparent PNGs. And then under size, I'm gonna do two because I want it a little larger and then transparent background. So I'm gonna deselect the instruction page because I don't wanna download that. So now all of my sticker pages are exported really nicely. So let's jump into GoodNotes and I'll show you how to import these. So I'm actually gonna open GoodNotes on my desktop just to make it a little easier. So when you wanna do this, you wanna make sure you have a digital planner open. So select this little pen icon, which is edit. And this way we could import images. So if you were on your tablet, you could easily just transfer the PNGs to your photo gallery and then click the little image icon to add the PNGs directly here. So I'm gonna click on the little photo gallery icon and a little window will pop up. I'm gonna click insert from, select one of my pages. It's gonna import the page directly onto the actual note paper. So there's a few ways you could crop them out. You could right click crop. So you could either select rectangle and crop it like this and then click done or you could select freehand and then just freehand it like this. Click done and then we just want to make this a little smaller. So now you have your digital sticker and let's add some more like this little to-do list right here. So I'm gonna right click crop, select rectangle and then just crop it. So this is just the really easy way to do that. You could deliver the PNG to your customers like this and then just write instructions in the delivery template telling them how to crop this. Now, if you wanna to save tons of time and easily create 300 stickers, grab this Digital Sticker Shop Starter Kit. It has everything you need to kickstart your sticker shop. I left the link below. Go grab it and start your shop.